the head of that tribe came to me and he said, we will mark this day as the day that the living God visited our people. Stand by We want to welcome you to Behind the Signs, where we take a closer look at all the amazing and wonderful things that the Holy Spirit is doing across the nations of the globe. Today, I have the amazing honor of having the founder and president of Shake the Nations Ministries, our very own Evangelist Nathan Morris. Thank you for being here with us today. Mauricio, it's always an honor. You know, I love to look back at and remember what God has done throughout the years. What a mighty God we serve. He's a miracle working God. Amen. You mentioned about the wonderful things that the Lord has done in the past. Recently, we were in a gospel crusade in Latin America, and you were speaking to the team about the many years that you've been doing gospel campaigns. Can you talk to us a little bit about those beginnings? You know, I look back and I, and I see just the hand of God. You know, a young man, 22 years old, gives his life to Christ. And very quickly, the Lord launches me into preaching the gospel. And I look back and I see the wonders of God, the faithfulness of God, that how inexperienced, how much I didn't know, and yet it wasn't about me. It was just our, our heart to say, Lord, use me. And God would move in such power, such miracles, such outpouring of the Holy Spirit. What a mighty God we serve. Amen. That's such a beautiful thing. A 22-year-old young evangelist, Nathan Morris, yet the power of God is moving in a special way. Yeah. I want us to watch a video. This is a testimony of one of your gospel crusades in the early years. Now, we're going to hit play, and as we watch it, it blesses me to see just what the Lord is doing right here. <laughs> So I'm going to pause it for a moment right there. We're going to continue watching the testimony, but I have to ask you this. What is going through your mind? You know, I have to set the scene. This is 2007, very early on. We'd launched a ministry in 06. I'm now in the middle of Kenya in a place called Buzia, very, very remote place. In fact, this was the first time the gospel had been preached in this tribe. I'm in a village, I'm sleeping in a mud hut, the, a small house, and people would line up outside of my hut every single day. I would lay hands on them, see blind eyes open, deaf ears open. This was something that was beyond imagination. We were in a field that was as known in the tribe as being a cursed place. Mm, wow. No, it would yield wow. no crops. And we set up a stage minimal lighting. We didn't have any form of, you know, video cameras with a little, you know, the, the old kind of holiday, <laughs> you know, cameras. But let me tell you right now, the glory of God Amen. Amen. would be in that field. There would be nights that I would leave at late at night, we'd finish the crusade. I'd go back to my hut with some of the guys from the team and, and we'd just weep. Amazing. We'd just weep. Amazing. I, I would, we would go back up to the field and all the people had dispersed. And we'd sit, you know, some nights the people would dance so much as mm. they saw the wonders of God that there would be dust clouds wow. Filling, wow. filling the air. And, you know, I would go and I would sit with the rest of the guys and the glory of God was so awesome. Mm. Nobody, it was as if the Holy Spirit was waiting He's not leaving the field. Wow. He was waiting for them to come back the next day. Wow. <laughs> Thousands began to come from all parts. They would be driving them in on mats, people that were crippled, people dying of HIV. I, I remember going back the, the year after this and, and seeing people that were like literally skin and bone dying, mm. now fully healthy 12 wow. months later. The miracles, one night I saw in this crusade, 13 deaf and mute people hear and speak. Praise Jesus. This was a realm. One night I, I was so overwhelmed. It's like the gift of faith came. And the Lord told me, he said, what you saw tonight, it will return to you again. Wow. It was as if God was giving me a snapshot 
of what was to come. I look back at this and see just the hand of God. Amen, amen, amen. You know, right in that field right now, I know we gotta go back to this testimony, but in that field right now, what was pl a place that was called cursed, mm. there's now an orphanage that My holds goodness. hundreds of children. My goodness. The head of that tribe came to me and he said, we will mark this day as the day that the living God visited our people. My goodness. We're gonna continue watching this testimony, but just hearing your testimony, I feel the intimacy that you had at that young age and who you are now and everything that you've seen throughout all these years, the countless number of miracles, yet the Lord is the same yeah. and your pursuit is the same yeah. and your hunger is the same. And it blesses me to hear that, but to also know the person that you are. We're gonna continue yes. watching this testimony. Today he came with this one crutch. But now he says he does not need that. The power of God has touched him. He can walk without the crutches. Just seeing the people, how they rejoice. He was totally crippled. He was totally crippled. Without the crutches, he would have to crawl. Let me stop right there. I remember this miracle as clear as anything. The day before the crusade, I'd met in, in the tent you see in the background, I'd met with local people that were the heads of the communities and, and then there were pastors that had driven in. And uh, he, this young man, he crawled into the meeting and he was sat in under the tent. He wasn't a leader, he wasn't anything. He was just desperate for a miracle. Mm. And we prayed for him then and it seemed like nothing happened. And then this must have been a couple of nights, two or three nights into the crusade. And now I'm seeing him stood on his feet. You know, can you imagine what I'm, what I'm thinking? That, that's incredible. I'm recognizing him saying, Lord, this is really happening. You know, because I'm still astounded today. I never get over the, the rawness of, look at what God has done. Amen, amen. To I'm that. still in awe today. <laughs> Are you ready to see a miracle? Look at that corner of Jesus. Begin to walk quickly. Walk with me. Back then, I didn't have Bible degrees or or qualifications. We just you can see we're just young people in the middle of a field, pre preaching the gospel and watching the power mm. of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the power of the Holy Spirit, Amen. moving in ways that blew my mind. Amen. See, it blesses me because I sense that moment you were there, and this was years ago, yet you're telling to all of us as if it just happened yesterday. It's, it's every single miracle I've ever seen is it's like God has, has, has marked it in my spirit. I, you know, the, everything that God does, the Bible says, is eternal. Amen. Right? He's the God of eternity. Amen. Whatever he does in the spirit, when you remember it, it's as real as if it's happening right now. That's incredible. The same anointing, like the same, the same power, I, I can feel that as I'm seeing in that moment. On that stage, if you could have felt the presence of God on that stage, <laughs> it was, some nights I would just look up to heaven and it was like heaven was touching earth. My goodness, that is amazing. We're gonna finish today with Job 8, 7. The Bible says, though your beginnings may be small, yet your latter end shall be great. We've seen the beginnings of evangelist Nathan Moores and everything that the precious Holy Spirit is doing and will continue to do. Until next time, this has been Behind the Science.
We want to thank you for watching. If you want to know more about Shake the Nations Ministries and our YouTube channel, why don't you click the subscribe button? Also, if you want notifications of our brand new videos, why don't you click the bell? There's so much more in Shake the Nations Ministries that you can get involved in. Why don't you click also the link to our website to find out more. To find out more about our humanitarian arm, Hope of All Nations, make sure you click the Hope of All Nations button where you can learn about us taking the gospel to thousands of children around the world and our work in the ground of the nation of Honduras. We can't wait to see you next time.